follow Libra. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, July. How time is flying. Time is flying. Okay. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. We're just going to see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Let's see where this moves to to next. Um, I always say, you know, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can always stick around and sometimes, and sometimes it could be just messages throughout that's that jump out and uh, speak to you. Okay, and of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. So I'm just going to clarify these uh, cards off, um, off camera, guys. Take them in and I'll be back. Yeah. All right. So Libra, let's start your weed and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, if this isn't your situation, feel free to Check out your other weekly um, readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right. So this is, I'm going to say, I'm going to start with you, um, Libra, simply because you kind of instigated this situation to a degree, let's say that, with that temperance card there. There's something about you just wanting to look for peace or find your peace in this situation with this person. I just feel like that was your lot, the, you know, the, the path of least resistance. For you, it's, it's you moving away from something that just wasn't feeling right. It wasn't working uh, for some of you as well. It just wasn't being, feeling right. So you wanted to move into a better place, a better thinking space, um, a place that made you feel good, a place that was calmer for your mindset, a place that was more at peace, at peace. Yeah, I feel like that was something that you kind of maybe had some deep insight about doing with the high priestess that the high priest talk, talks about, you know, this um, higher awareness or this in, in, insight, this insight. So you, for you, it's more about you finding peace. So with that came this, you walking away from this situation, you holding back um, from them. That holding back might mean just not answering their phone calls. Um, not giving to them in some way, shape or form. With the intention, again, it's just going back to this, you finding your peace, you feeling, uh, finding a better place, a better emotional and mental space to be in. Hence why, you know, you wanted to move down a new path or do something different. Yeah, there was awareness that you kind of hurt this person or this person was hurt. And they were, felt, you know, they got the tower card there. With this tower card, it means that you know, things just came crashing down, maybe out of the blue as well with the tower. The tower card sometimes means a shock about something, but definitely something that shocked them, surprised them, or something and, or, and something that came crashing down. You know, something that they was, you know, focusing on moving forward with, advancing. But now it's like you've kind of got the boundaries up with them with the Queen of Swords. Them wanting to overcome this, but you just kind of, we've got those boundaries up, those guards up, you know, feeling really heavy, burdened by the situation because, of course, there's still this strong uh, physical attraction towards you, but they feel stuck as well, feel stuck, not sure, you know, what's going on, why this happened, not in a good space emotionally, but still trying to hold on, still trying to hang in there, which makes sense as to why for them, they're showing up as the high priest. There is still this energetic connection towards you, this um, strong connection. It's more about insight, I guess, as well. <clears throat> just going to clear my throat, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this um, just insight around you, around what this is with the high priest. As the high priest talks about, you know, this uh, deep spiritual connection sometimes is a, a soulmate type of thing or twin flame i do apologize about my throat guys good gosh <clears throat> yeah where with you it's like 
you know, you've moved into a better place. Your focus was, was on moving out of this or just finding a better place. You're showing up as the queen. You know, you're feeling good, being admired by a lot of people. Uh, maybe kind of meeting up with people as well for some of you going out on dates, just kind of exchanging numbers. And with that, this mindset of, you know, the wands, the, the ace of wands, an opportunity to start something new, an opportunity to create something new, something maybe more stable as well with the queen, sorry, the king. Still kind of needing to process things um, because you have options. It's like, you know, you're out there dating or you're out there being admired or speaking. There's options there for you. Definitely options there for you. But at the same time, there's disappointment. There's that four of um, cups there. There's disappointment. Disappointment with this person. You know, you're out there dating. You're out there kind of meeting people. There's definitely opportunities for you to start things or dating with, with people. There's options. You have options. But at the same time, you feel this disappointment in your person or in the situation that's happened. Some of you could have involved, and that's for some of you, and that's only if you know as well, could have involved third party uh, there. That's just for some of you. This could just represent you, you know, socializing, you socializing while, you know, feeling like, you know, you're not meeting anyone that kind of measures up or kind of matches this person. Um, because your person is seems like they're defending their self. This could be defending their self from their own thoughts or protecting their self from their own thoughts. It's like their thoughts are saying, you know, move on from this, leave this alone, blah, blah, blah. And they're, you know, and the, but another part of them is saying, no, I want to stick this out. I want to protect this. This means this to me. Um, so there is this slow moving. It's like, okay, I'm aware that. You know, things are going to be slow. It's not going to be a quick situation. There is disappointment there as well, matching your fall. Uh, but choosing to not acknowledge that this is, you know, come to what it's come to. person has this kind of level of determination because there's still this draw, this strong pull that they do have towards you. So with that comes this waiting game for them. It's like, okay, I'm um, waiting with the three there, waiting for something to happen waiting for an opportunity for me to reach out, waiting for, you know, this person to be looking at your social media as well, just waiting for the green light in order for them to be able to connect um, and reach out with the intention of connecting as well uh, and reaching out to you, communicating with you. But like I said, going back to yourself, there is this sense of disappointment as much as you're out there moving and shaking, so to speak. Um, and there is this acknowledgement. This is the, the important part here, uh, Libra. There is this acknowledgement of you not wanting to face something. And that facing something could mean, because for some of you, you know, if you're honest with yourself, you acted pretty rash, uh, very quick. Um, and that's why I go back to this, you know, remember I said earlier about the path of least resistance. It seemed, it seemed like you made those moves because it was your path of least resistance, you, you you had no choice but to. You were seeking peace. You were see, seek, seeking peace, if I can talk. You were seeking, you know, just better feeling space for yourself. And that's why you made those those moves. But with that came, maybe you, there's something that you're not, that you know you need to acknowledge, but you're not willing to acknowledge, or it feels uncomfortable to acknowledge. And it's something around how you handled this or some insight into this relationship in some way. Because it's like you've gone out, you're out there, you're speaking to people, you're out there talking, dating, whatever the case may be. Yet there's options there, but this person keeps cro cropping up for you emotionally as well, which is causing you to acknowledge that there's something I don't want to look, I'm not ready to look at even. Yeah. So we're going to move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to, guys. So for those of you that are interested, links in the description bar below. Um, but as it stands, hopefully this has given you some form of uh, guidance, some form of clarity. The key moment here is, is that, and I get it. I get it, Libra. You know, when things are 
you know, not working out in a situation and you feel like you've tried different options. You know, sometimes it's like, I'm going to take this path because it feels better. I just need to kind of find my peace ultimately. Too much, been going through this for too long. And I can't, <laughs> I can't really stay here anymore. But sometimes, you know, and, you know, let things unfold the way they, they unfold. But sometimes with that comes this rough decision about, about something. Um, and with a rash decision, we're not really thinking um, of all options or we're not seeing certain things. Uh, and once that's cleared, we start to kind of, you know, things start to come up. And that's what I feel is going on here. Things are starting to come up. You're starting to realize, okay, you're seeing things different. So there's this awareness that maybe you acted too soon or maybe you overreacted. Um, but it's like, I don't, you know, we're not ready to acknowledge that just yet. It's like, okay, I'm, I don't even want to look at that just yet. Because what does that mean if you look at it? Yeah. So um, hopefully this gave me some form of clarity. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. All right. So with this shadow card, with this not wanting to acknowledge um, something, uh, Gemini, you, you kind of move into a place of that five you start to, you start to really feel the loss of this connection of this person. Like I said, you now kind of have some space. You now see what's out there. Ultimately, you see what's out there in the dating market. You, you, you kind of are measuring up. You you get the opportunity to measure up this person amongst other people. And there is this with that comes this feeling of this this loss and how aligned you were with this person and how much you know. Yeah, how aligned you were with this person, how good it was, or how, that's the best way I can really pull it, is aligned, aligned with this person. 